Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Hannah, if you're new here. I hope you guys had a wonderful New Year's and Christmas. I can't believe we're already in 2024 and this is the very first video that I'm going to be posting out on in 2024. So from the title of this video, you guys can probably already guess, but it is another thrift vlog. However, the caveat is that I am going to put myself on a $40 budget, which in my world seems very, very unrealistic. But I think going into 2024, we wanna have more intention with the things that we're buying. So therefore, we are gonna limit ourselves and give ourselves a budget today and see what we can find, if we find anything at all. So without further ado, let's just get right into the shopping. I just had to show these to start off the vlog because what in the world? Started off strong there. I um, went over to the coat section per usual, found this little fur jacket, but didn't think it was worthy enough of throwing in the cart. And then I saw this locally made jacket, looks definitely vintage. Thought it was super cute though, I liked the color brown. This would have been nice if it wasn't so shaggy. Um, but yeah, just looking through her, I ended up not really seeing anything in this particular moment so just perusing through and this also was a nice jacket too but obviously you guys can tell there's a lot of lint going on there so not in the best condition i went over to the tennis shoe section which i normally don't really check but i found these today and i will elaborate a little bit more on that later these were really cute boots. I think that if you're a size 9, you should probably go and grab those. Same with these ones here. I do not need any boots, but I just wanted to show you guys the selection that they had. And moving on to the sweaters and the cardigans. Not very much. Um, kind of just picked through. I, I went later in the day, so I think they had already had their sale for that week as well. But this one here was giving very winter ski a pre vibes thought that was really cute and then this Victoria's Secret knit wear I think it's sleepwear but I couldn't find any bottom pieces I don't know if that there is one obviously but um yeah I thought this was cute but it looked a little too big it's an off the shoulder oh, <laughs> off the shoulder sweater and then moving on to the home section I grabbed this. I thought it would be kind of fun to make a table centerpiece out of it, but I ended up putting it back because there was a lot of glue sticking out of it. And the candles. I love the candle section. I love candle holders. I have quite a collection, but um, didn't think that would work really well with my home decor. And I just thought this was really cute because it's a mini picnic basket. Moving on to the pants section, because you know me, I like to zigzag through the store a million times, so I'm back in the accessories and shoes and making my rounds, and this is the jacket that I found towards the end of my trip here, and it is a free people jacket, so I had to throw that in the cart, and also found this Ralph Lauren cardigan, um, wanted to try it on. It was giving grandma vibes and I really liked that. Same with this one here, but it was just a little too big. Here's this American West bag. I thought it was super cute, but the strap was very long for some weird reason, so it didn't look quite right. And this was a cute tank. It was 100% cotton, cute little bow, but it was a size large and there was a little hole in it, so I decided to pass. And here I am just trying on, trying on, and this was really cute, but I thought the fit would be a little weird. It's quite boxy actually, and these shoes were giving, they were giving a little bit of grandma chic, so I didn't get them. I thought this was really cute, <laughs> definitely not my style, but... I love Hello Kitty things. And then this year, which I will elaborate a little bit more later. Also liked the space from Nordstrom, but I did not grab that. Super pretty though. And then uh, this vest, except 
for the the only downfall was it was made out of acrylic and I'm not really a fan of that so these are my last couple of items that I saw before I went to check out literally spent forty dollars and forty cents oh my god <laughs> technically 39 but with tax I cannot even complain because I got some really good finds I think in my opinion but I saw another girl who definitely looks like my type of vibe and she as I was walking out literally I'm outside of the store she is trying on fur jackets and I'm freaking out I'm, how is she, how did she find those I don't know if they put them out or if they're in the wrong spot and she just got super lucky but she was trying them on and I was freaking out I'm like oh my god I didn't see any of that so I doubt that um I don't know they just looked really good and I'm I'm like freaking out right now because I I wish that was me but it's fine everything happens for a reason oh I see her I think she's trying hold on one second okay I feel like such a creep because I can literally see through the window I don't know where she went but she didn't have them in their in her cart oh, okay but I told myself I had a $40 budget and I have exceeded that or by like 40 cents but still oh my god I'm like contemplating on going back in there but I didn't see any coats in her cart so I don't know if she just left it or if she's thrown it in there but and I just cannot see it but I don't know okay what do you guys think oh my god no I'm crazy I can't go back in <laughs> Okay, we are back and I did have a little bit of a meltdown in the parking lot. I don't know where she found them from, but she was trying them on. And as I was about to leave, she peeked through another window that I could see from my parking spot and she didn't have any. So I was contemplating on whether or not I should go back, but I didn't want to be crazy or seem crazy because I had already paid for everything got in my car and was ready to leave so I'm not I'm not gonna do that anyways um, enough of that let's get into the haul portion of this I did not pick up that many items as you guys obviously know I was on a $40 budget so I will go through and tell you the reasoning behind some of these things because I think that is very important because there are some things that I'm working on for this year that I really want to grow and just get better at my craft so let's get right into the haul part so we're gonna start off strong for all of the fashion girlies out there because i know that this shoe has been a really hot trending trend and i myself can say that i am joining the club so for all the fashion girlies out there that know what this is you know if you know you know it's the Onitsuka Tiger Shoe. This combination of colors is super cute. It's very, very me because I love pink and I love brown. Um, but yeah, I'm not really on the Samba, Samba train or like the slim sneaker train. But after seeing these, I did try them on too and I thought that they were really cute. The bottoms are still pretty intact and everything else is fine. They're not stinky or anything like that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I picked these up and I thought that they were, I didn't think they were that bad for the value. And again, considering it is kind of coming back, they're, you know, coming back into style. Um, I would pick it up and try a couple of different outfit combinations with this and see what I could come up with. So these ones were $17. So these definitely ate up half my budget, which is fine. But I think I will get some wear out of these. And again, kind of excited for it because they have been trending and not that trends really matter but i think that it is kind of fun when you find something that um is trending at the thrifts and especially because these are these definitely look older than those new ones that we're seeing all over pinterest and instagram so yeah i got these and these were 17 dollars. all right so next up these here do not fit me they 100% don't fit me. I'm not I'm not even going to try to squeeze my butt in here because I already know it's not going to fit. 
These are a size double zero. So if you're a size double zero, let me know. These are the Wilfred pant from Aritzia, as you guys can tell here. And I was honestly surprised when I saw these. Maybe it is because it's such a small size. I don't know. But these are really cute and they're really soft. If you haven't um, felt the Wilford pant from Aritzia yet, you probably should go and do that. But these are really um, in great condition. So I picked these up because I was going to try to resell these on my Poshmark because I've actually been picking up some sales there. I have not posted anything or listed anything, which I definitely should because I have a collection of things that I have been wanting to sell. I just have been too unmotivated to post it on my or to list them so that's gonna go in the list pile I did get these for nine dollars and i checked on <clears throat> ebay i believe that they are going for just depends obviously but i think i have a screenshot somewhere here okay so i have i've seen them go for about sixty dollars on ebay and I don't know, it's gonna depend and vary the thing. I just wanted to throw that out there. So yeah, pretty cool that I found these. I wish that they were in my size because if they were in my size, I would definitely just keep them, but they're not. So I'm gonna try to sell them. The items that I find and love the most are never in the place that they're supposed to be. I think that is the key component here is going into places that you would not expect anything to be in. I wasn't conscious when I was doing this. I was kind of on autopilot and I was just sifting through the racks and I felt the shoulder of this and I had to take a moment and think wow what is this it's a free people jacket it is a dark navy blue I don't know if you guys can tell on camera if that's picking up or not but it's a dark navy blue free people jacket and this was only nine dollars which is crazy so cute still in great condition I did try it on and it looks fantastic and it is um, definitely going to be a staple especially because the winter right now is kind of mild so I can get away with wearing a lighter jacket like this um, but there's the sleeve detailing which I think is super cool and then it's got this kind of mesh um, detailing here on the side so but it was kind of tucked away and hidden and I just happened to pull it out because of the feel of the jacket so very nice, very good quality, good condition. For $9 for a free people jacket, you really can't beat that. Okay, lastly here, I have what I believe is kind of useless to me. So I definitely need to list this on eBay or Poshmark or some sort of listing site. It is cool, I will say, but I do have not any sort of German heritage whatsoever, obviously. Um, you can tell by looking at me. And, um, but I did pick this up because I thought this was one really cool. Um, I also don't drink and I think this is supposed to be for beer. At least that's what, what I read online. So if that is incorrect, please let me know. Um, but this is made in Germany. This is part of their limited edition. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, and it also has this, I don't know if you want to call it an authenticity card which is super cool but I am not German so I think what I'm gonna do is list this what I always end up doing if I don't know particularly if I should get something or not is I take my phone and I go to the Google app and I use Google Lens and it'll just pull up obviously some similar items or that that item specifically and it will show you different listings of it so I did see quite a few listings and I don't know if I can get a hundred dollars for this I'm not a hundred percent sure but this was only five dollars so I figured okay well the worst case scenario is it's gonna go on my buffet and it'll just be on display for a bit but I thought it was really cute it is kind of just cool and if I can resell it and rehome it That'd be awesome. Yeah, if you have any more info on this too, let me know. You guys have been really helpful with my previous videos and letting me know what um, 
you know, some of the things that I found really are. I think that wraps up today's video. If you have any video suggestions or anything that you want to see in particular, please do feel free to let me know in the comments or follow me on Instagram if you haven't done so already. I post a lot of fashion and style content on there as well. Um, so yeah, meet me over there and send me a nice little DM and let me know you're over from YouTube. I'd be happy to chat with you guys. I hope that this year is filled with a lot of blessings for you and just continue to grow. Thank you so much for a thousand over, I hit over a thousand subscribers the day of New Year's. So yeah, January 1st, I hit over 1000 subscribers and we continue to grow. So I'm really, really, really appreciative of that. So thank you guys again. I love you all. I will see you in the next video. Bye.